I'm going to build a shortcut that takes some information from a note, copies it to the clipboard automatically, so that I can then paste it into my YouTube video descriptions inside YouTube Studio. If I open up the Notes app, I've got some default information that I include in most of, if not all of, my YouTube video descriptions, including my outro music, some links to my channel to visit and subscribe, links to my other playlists so that people can find them easily, and even some links to the channels of some of my favorite creators like D. Nimmin, Dusty Porter, Tammy Sibniewski, and Viper. I want to include all of this information into my video descriptions, and I don't want to have to manually copy it myself. So I'm going to use a shortcut. So I'm going to open up the Shortcuts app, and I'm going to tap on the plus sign to add another shortcut. The first thing I'm going to do is add an action, which is just going to be a text box. So I'll type in text. And then I'll add it to the shortcut. Here's another tip. Instead of typing in long paragraphs of text, you can use the dictation feature to speak the text to your phone The other reason I use these text boxes is it makes it really easy to format and change the text without messing up anything else to do with the shortcut. I'm going to put in a couple of extra lines at the bottom of this text box. The next thing I'm going to do is pop up an alert message asking the user if they want to run the shortcut because we sometimes will accidentally tap on the wrong shortcut. So I'm going to tap on the plus sign and I'm going to tap on Show Alert. And this will bring up an alert box allowing the user to choose if they want to continue or not. I'm going to come into the question here and I'm going to place my cursor at the beginning of the question because as you can see, we've got some variables at the top of the keyboard here. The variable text refers to the text box that I just added above this alert message. So I'm going to tap on it. You'll see the word text has appeared in blue. I'm going to tap where it says show more. And when you use an alert message, you can add a title, which I like to do because I want to know which alert boxes I'm looking at if I am outside of the Shortcuts app when this is run. So I'm going to say Run Shortcut because this is the first dialog box. I'll tap on Done to dismiss the keyboard. To run shortcuts, just tap on the play icon in the lower right hand corner. If you're on the iPad, it's going to be in a different place, but it will look the same. So I'll tap it to run the shortcut. And this is the Run Shortcut dialog box, which is exactly what I want to see. Since nothing's going to happen, I'm going to tap on Cancel to continue adding to this shortcut. The next thing that I want to do is find the note that I showed you and get the text from it. Then I'll show that result and copy it to the clipboard. So I'll tap on the plus sign and I'll type the word Notes since I know that the next action will be involving the Notes app. So I want to find Notes. If you're not sure what the action does, you can tap on the little eye to get some information about it. And at the top of the screen, you can see that it says searches for notes in your library that match given criteria. The rest of the information is just the options that are available, but I know that this is the action that I want to use. So I'll add it to the shortcut underneath the alert box. So once the user types OK, this action is going to run. And for now it's going to find all notes. I want it to find one specific note that I know I have. So I'm going to tap where it says Add Filter to add a filter. So now 
the action changes and it says find all notes where body contains anything. Well, I don't want to find anything. I want to find a specific line of text. So I'll tap anything and it will go away. And what I want to find is the note that begins with the line YouTube video description. Now I'm going to add an action to show that result. I might be running this from the home screen, so I'll want to see that information to make sure that it's the right text before I copy it to the clipboard. So I'll tap on the plus sign and add the show results action. So it's going to show me the notes that it finds, whether I'm inside or outside of the Shortcuts app. The next thing I want to do is take that text and copy it to the clipboard. So I'll tap on the plus sign and start typing copy. And there's our action copy to the clipboard. Once again, we'll tap on the I to get some information and this has copies the result of the last action to the clipboard, which is exactly what we want to do. And again, the options and parameters are explained. I'm going to tap on add to this shortcut and there's our copy to clipboard. So any notes that it finds, it's going to take the text and copy it to the clipboard automatically. Then all I need is another alert box to show that the text has been copied and the shortcut has been run successfully. So I'll tap once more and tap show alert. And I can actually delete this. And then I'll dictate the text in there since it's a longer message. I'll tap on the microphone in the bottom right hand corner of the keyboard and then start speaking. And I'm going to add a title so that I can see which dialog box this is outside of the Shortcuts app. And I'm going to remove the cancel button since I just want to be able to press OK and have the shortcut shut down properly. Next, I'm going to tap on Next because I'm going to name the shortcut and I'll call it Copy Note. Then I'll tap on done to dismiss the keyboard. And there we go. Now I need to add this to the home screen and make a few more changes. So I'm going to hold and long press. Then I'll tap on the preview. The shortcut's gonna open. I'll tap these three dots because I'm gonna add it to the home screen. When you install this shortcut, you'll need to make sure that you have the Notes app installed on your phone and that the Shortcuts app is allowed to access it. You can change the access permission inside the shortcut details. Make sure this switch is flipped on. You'll also need to make sure that you have the Shortcuts app installed and that you've allowed untrusted shortcuts to run. But for now, I'm just going to add this to the home screen. So I'll tap on Add to Home Screen. And everything looks good. So I'll tap Add in the upper right hand corner. And the icon will appear on the home screen. But one thing I am going to do before I tap on Done is to change the color of the bookmark just because I've got several blue icons in the shortcut folder. So we'll change it to green because I like that one. I'll tap on Done and then tap on Done once more. I can tap on done and then I'll close the shortcuts app. And there's our copy note shortcut, but let's run it from the home screen. So I'm gonna close the shortcuts app and I'll just tap on the screen to get back to my home screen and I'll tap on copy notes. The icon color didn't change, but I can do that in the final version when I release it. A link will be available in the description. I'm gonna tap on okay. This is the text from the note that it found, which is the right one. So I'll tap on done. And it tells me that it's copied the text and the shortcut will now exit. 
But what can you do with this text? Well, I can add it to a video description. So if I open YouTube Studio, I've got a scheduled video that's scheduled to go out on Monday. So I'm going to add the text that I just copied to the description of this video. I'll tap on the video, tap on edit, tap in the description box, hit return a couple times, and because that text is still on the clipboard, I can just tap in the blank space and I should get these options, one of which will be paste. If I tap on paste, the information will be pasted into the description and you can see that it's my new information because I've got the list of my favorite YouTubers here. Feel free to check out their channels once you've finished watching this video by clicking on the links that will be in the description. So we've got the information copied in there and I can edit it as needed. For example, I'm going to take out the video leap hashtag and add the hashtag smartphones. You don't want to have any spaces in your hashtag smartphones for and then I can tap on the description box. When you've pasted the information in to wherever you want to paste it, don't forget to click on save so that it appears. I love Mike's videos. Please subscribe to his channel for more tips, tricks, and tutorials.